The images of the water are shocking enough. Would you drink that? People have dumped in this river forever. It's like we're in a cesspool. My tub, you should see it, it's brown. And then come the headlines. An American city failed to provide basic protections to its citizens, and now the children of Flint have much higher than normal levels of lead in their blood. Rick Snyder, governor of Michigan, has apologized. I am sorry, and I will fix it. President Obama declared a national emergency. You can't shortchange basic services that we provide to our people. And now 2016 presidential candidates are starting to weigh in. The governor of that state acted as though he didn't really care. Lead poisoning is terrible and terrifying. No amount of exposure is safe. And there's evidence that years after we got it out of paint, gas, and more, it contributed to a drastic drop in crime in the 90s. The city has switched back to cleaner water, but the effects will last decades. We take clean water for granted. How could this possibly happen in 2016? Well, you've got to rewind to 2011. Flint was broke. It had lost about half its population after the car factories closed. It had 1.1 billion in unfunded pension costs. It had to cut half its police force. Michigan had a solution called emergency managers. Now he's been appointed by the governor to turn around Flint's finances. Mike, welcome. These managers can make cost-cutting measures without the normal political procedure. I think what we have to do is look at the expense side first. There could be services that we can no longer provide in the city. And they decided the city could save money on water. Flint would stop buying water from Detroit and join a new regional water system. And as a temporary measure, Flint would use water from the Flint River. The switch happened in 2014. Here's the Flint. Flint. And who decided to do this exactly is under intense debate. But regardless of blame, the story gets worse. Residents saw and tasted the dirty water and started complaining. Water's brown, um, has a bad odor. I'm afraid to even um, feed it to my cat or my dogs. We should not have to pay for the water. It's nasty. But the city claimed federal tests showed the water was safe. An employee at the Environmental Protection Agency leaked a Michigan report to a local activist, which showed the water had higher than normal lead levels. The city's response? Flint told the woman the lead came from her plumbing. It took an outside investigation by Virginia Tech researchers that found elevated lead levels in the water for the state to admit there was a problem in September 2015. So the corrosion's eating up the pipes, it's eating up the iron pipes, it's causing main breaks, it's causing discolored water. In about 20% of the homes, there's just too much lead. In October 2015, the government bought water filters for its citizens and switched back to water from Detroit. Before all this, 2.1% of the city's children had high blood lead levels. After, it was 4%. For kids under 5 in the most affected zip codes, it was 6.3%. Why did Flint poison its citizenry? Under emergency managers from the state, it wanted to save money. To start to reverse the effects will cost dearly. Just switching back to Detroit's water cost $12 million. A class action lawsuit against the city is pending.